you guys gotta do, download the companion. That's what you cunts gotta do. Right, once you finish downloading that, simple install, you gotta click setting up the SDK. What do you do this for? Click current version of Unity, that's why, and you click download Unity. I'm on Australian internet, so I'm not even gonna bother downloading it, but you wanna click Unity Editor for Windows. Boom! Download that shit. It will come with a Unity Hub installation. Download that too. Now, once you guys have finished downloading the Creator Companion, which you've done first, you wanna open up the Creator Companion. Just like this. Old ass PC. Boom, you're in. If you don't see, uh, if you come to this, or like come to our homepage where it says like, can't detect Unity or whatever, blah, 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 you wanna go to settings, you wanna click this. And you wanna find out where you installed your Unity. So for me, it's in like an entirely different fucking hard drive. I installed in here, Unity 2.0. Sorry, right. yeah, here. Yeah. Unity, editor, boom. You wanna find the XC file and you wanna click open. There. That's after you install Unity, of course, and you've done all that. Now, what I want you guys to do, after you've finished all that shit, the installing, I want you to click new. You want to click avatar, you can name it whatever. Bruh. Create. Cool. I want you to open the project. Alright, you're in, finally. It's already set up for you, like, all the SDK shit. If you don't see this at the top, what I want you guys to do is I want you to download the SDK uh, 0.35 avatars. I want you to download that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, once that's downloaded, you want to go back to Unity. Hello, Unity. Please open. This. No. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Anyway, you can click here, import package, custom package. You want to click, click this, but I don't have to do that because it's already here. You don't want to do it twice. There's no point in doing it twice. So you want to show control panel. It's already logged in. Cool, you, but you want to log in here, like just log in to um, the VHS DK. Cool. Now, what I want you guys to do is I want you to go to the description because I have a bunch of shit for you to download. You need this. So what you guys want you to do is right click here, import package, custom package. And I want you guys to download the, yeah, this one's fine. Probably mean to fucking, this shit. It's in the description. I want you to install this. These are gonna be your shaders. Shaders are pretty good. And they, if you're uploading from a site, they you'll use this fucking shader. So you wanna download it early. So you don't run into problems later. Boom. Also, once you down the other package in the description, the dynamic bones. A lot of avatars have dynamic bones. You would not be able to upload them without importing this package. So do it. Right. Done. We have everything set up. Now, what I would want you to do is once you go to VR models, you can use any website if you guys want to. I just prefer using this one because it's easy. I want you to find a model to download. So I already was looking at some. This one's too slutty. This one's fine. If I test this one too, this one works. I want you guys to download the model. Now, because I have an Australian internet, I already downloaded it because it takes forever to download anything on Australian internet. I want you guys to download the model you like. You can look at the thousands of these models. But you have to create an account for this website. And you go to here, right click, import package, custom package, and the model. So this one, I did this one. Okay. Things you could do with the model, how to upload them from like different sites and stuff. You can go to all prefabs, and this one has a prefab actually. So some of them you can just drag and drop like this. And it's just selecting the textures for us. Sometimes I won't select the textures, but this one it does. Okay, so this one's good. Um, I mean, this one's already done, so you could kind of upload it from here. But let's say you upload it and there's no textures. What do you do? Well, you just go to the model, to the materials here. You find the materials folder, you shift click and you shift click here and you click this and you click polyamy and you click uh, 
Polyamy Tune because I already installed the Polyamy textures. My Polyamy is a bit different. I think I uploaded the weird one, but like, um, yours will be like normal. So you just hit Polyamy 7.3 or it have 7.3 and then you just click 8.1. But either way, you click Polyamy Tune, no matter which version you use, always click Polyamy Tune. And they'll select the textures for you. This one's already done, so that's one way I played it. Another way is sometimes I have scenes. Usually you want to click on the scenes because the creator or uploader has already done everything for you. Like this one's already done. Um, sometimes you click you have to click on them in the hierarchy and then click detached the pipeline manager script here. This one's already done, like all the VR chat avatar descriptors are done. All that shit's done. That's just good. So you show control panel. Let's see what's going on here. Let me just kick, click a build and publish on Windows. It should work fine. Yeah, okay. It works fine. So sometimes when you upload an avatar, you'll get a prefab error at the bottom here. Don't panic. So when it says a prefab error, that usually means it's a symptom to another problem. So if you click on the bottom here, this where it will say prefab or go to console, check the error, uh, so prefab, and then above it, it will say a different error. If you click on the error, it will lead you to, if you click on the error and then click back to project, it will lead you to the error, the script error. Some of them have scripting errors and you just delete that script. I'll make that another video. This one doesn't have the issues, but like, it's pretty easy to fix. But yeah, that's how you upload your model. Because I tested it earlier to make sure I wasn't wasting my time, but yeah. You can just kind of name it whatever you want to upload that. And you can click on scene here in VR, sec, VR chat cam. And you can like move it and shit. Like you can even like, I don't know. Push it there. Fucking titties are. Okay. So yeah, you just click upload and then you're done. I've already uploaded this one. I don't want to upload it twice, so. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to fucking upload an avatar with prefab errors. I just like uploaded one and it has like prefab errors. Um, yeah, there you go. So this one has a scene, so I'm just gonna open the scene because it's just gonna all just like the textures for me and I don't, don't have to panic about anything. Okay, so this one works, but it has a prefab error. I'll show you guys. Be very shocked if it doesn't come up with that same error. I should, anyway. Yeah, I should. There you go. So this one has a... I'm just gonna... Okay. So, uh... I'm just gonna do that again, because I can actually see the proper error. But you see there, this has a prefab error. It's a prefab. Doesn't mean much though. You look at this, it's a symptom, the issue. Aha, what's this? It's a script. So just delete it. Like that. So you click console, click here, click the error, go to project. Oh shit, is my Unity okay? Oh fuck. Okay, so I'm in. Then we try again. Sue. So. Yeah, I just usually click yes. I don't know if it makes any difference. I think I fixed the issue though. Hopefully. Yeah, it did fix the issue. Okay. I'll come back when this avatar's done. It's a pretty big one. Okay, that's finally done. Um, yeah, you can just upload it. I don't know what the fuck my camera's doing. It's being weird. But yeah, you see? You just delete the error and it works fine. Don't know where my image went. Whatever. I can upload it. I already uploaded this one. Yeah, no. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, you're done. I'll catch you guys later.